Mr. President, Renari Chwali Mpopo, Reamuzi Iba Mshabi, Haka Choma Yamutina, Hochoro Ye, Uyikatile Musila. We have touched the core of the things. Honorable Malima will not spend time here and just deal with you and not focus on imp important issues. But it's because you were spot on. But let me remind you, honorable members, when I was sitting there and even on Friday, the women, the elderly, and the poorest of the poor, who were members of Stocksfeld, burial societies, were saying to me, who has the right to question the character of the president if anyone else but not Honorable Julius Malima. Because it's not even the money they lost, it's the impact. They were not able to bury their dead with dignity. People of them wait only for four to five days before they bury their dead. The fact that they queued for seven and fourteen days before they could bury their dead, that's painful. Today, the elderly of Bembe are suffering hypertension, not because of anything else. We are dealing with chronic diseases of uh, high blood pressure and sugar diabetes because those elderly members. whose patients could not take their grandchildren to school are now suffering a generation of lost opportunities. Why? Because Honorable Malima and the, the EFS got money from VBS. Their party was actually registered by the proceeds of GCF. They are remi they've reminded me. Honorable Minister, order. please take your seat. There is a point of order. I rise on a point of order. Was the speaker on the platform is misleading the house and casting aspersions uh, on honorable members and an entire political party. And I think that she is confusing the EFF for the SACP, for the ANC, for Denim Caesar, for Bladen Zimande. And I think she's really supposed to understand the rules. Withdraw with immediate effect and bring a substantive motion if she's got the balls. Thank you. Um, Minister, um, I'm not going to ask you to withdraw, but to in fact come with a substantive motion and you may proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Deputy Speaker. The Terry Mutaum and the Shifua Matozis affidavit talk for themselves and South Africans don't need another substantive motion. Honorable Deputy, Honorable Deputy Speaker, it is the people and the women of Limpopo who reminded me that the first major report of former public protector of South Africa, Advocate Mazini, was on, on point and the Ratanang Family Foundation. And they said we must remind people that those who live in glass houses must remember not to throw stones.